Hello everybody, welcome back to another little Legends of Wild Mount. Some announcements before we begin though. Um, we'll be back with the, not Beneath the Tide crew, because that's not what they're called anymore, but uh, our, our 9.30 game, Wednesday nights we'll be back. We're doing a one shot tonight at 9.30pm Eastern Time, and then next week we'll be premiering our new campaign, so come up to that, uh, see, come see that next Wednesday, uh, April 7th. Got really great character art made up for it as well, so it's awesome. Um, my dog's barking nonstop, which is real cool. Um, what else? You know the schedule. Uh, I'm just going to stop saying the schedule because uh, stuff keeps getting canceled. <laughs> so we'll let you know if things get canceled and if they don't. But our schedule's on, Twi on our Twitch channel, so you can look at that. And if things change, things change. Um, still raising money for Color of Change. That is our charity of choice. That is indefinite. The link to that charity is in our Twitch chat, uh, and we also have a Patreon. So if you want to see this channel keep going, you can donate to the Patreon, because, you know, paying for everything out of my pocket is getting real tough. Uh, so you can check that out. Uh, $3 tier every month, you can get some adventures. Uh, the adventure for March, which you can still get in April and May and June. Uh, if you're a $3 tier patron, is House from Bent Hill. It's a haunted house. A little adventure for your D&D campaigns. You can drag and drop it anywhere. Uh, April's Adventure is the Spawning Pools. It is a slod spawning den. It takes a lot of inspiration off of the Aliens movie, so the characters, when they spawn into this place, they've already been infected with uh, slod tadpoles, and you can kind of play through that trying to find a cure. Very similar to Aliens if, when people get like, Bleh! you know, chest bursters and all that fun stuff, because that's what slod tadpoles do. Um, so that's April's Adventure. Again, $3 peer on dollar tier on patreon uh and we're finally caught up with beneath the tide on our podcast so if you're listening to our podcast on any of the podcast platforms uh the final episode of the, of the beneath the tide campaign went up there last night so it's done officially done with it in general um so yeah and then our next campaign april 7th will be going up on the podcast as well probably a week later um yeah, that's everything, I think. So, last we left off, you all fought a giant spider dragon. Continued your trek through the forest of glass after leaving Gore Kavaroth. Rested in a tiny hut after Gravel put a little candle out in the mo open moorlands, and upon waking found the candle had moved. But also the flame was still lit and hadn't gone out after eight hours, and that all flames in this area didn't flicker or move or give off heat but they were still light sources which is really weird um <clears throat> you all returned to the docks on which you arrived on in far Harum on and signaled to the goblin boat captain durgle to come pick you up and as he arrived you all decided to leave him and madame charme behind so you could go investigate the beached whaling ship up the beach a little bit to see if it was the res was responsible for those weird freezing ghosts that attacked you all uh, when you arrived. Uh, so you got onto the ship, found a big dead narwhal that was decaying, um, explored two rooms on the main deck and found some loot in the form of rum, lockets, some red sort of crystalline powder and a smoking pipe um uh, a golden compass and some again a picture another locket and bagpipes and an emerald figurine of a mermaid that seemed to when people were holding it you could hear the mermaid's song in your head and also the person holding it feels a little <laughs> quicker so they gain a plus three bonus to their initiative if they're holding it so I, just, I think I mentioned that last week. I did, yeah. So, after finding this figurine, that's what we're going to pick up. Uh, who has the... Enoch. Enoch has the mermaid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. That's just the person I was hoping had it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Needs it. Shall uh, we 
check the other rooms, or should we? Yeah, yeah. I want to avoid. I want to avoid going into the bowels of this thing until maybe we can get some more clues as to what why things might be strange here. Do we see oh, that? Oh, watch the door again. Do you see what? Do we see that whale up on the deck? You see the corpse, yeah. Okay. It's up on the... Give me one sec. It's on the main deck. Okay. So it's like, yeah, down here where the doors are. And then you have the stairs on the front of the ship going up to the forecastle, I think is what it's called. And then the stairs at the back of the ship going up to the quarter deck. So it's definitely within sniffing distance. Oh, it's like <laughs> hanging out around you guys, yeah. <laughs> It, it, it was the same, like, when we were in the, uh, mm -hmm. the ethereal plane or yep. uh, whatever, um, th this was the same whale. Yep. It was a, a narwhal. Yep. All right. And you can see, like, javelin sticking out of its corpse. Uh, it's been dead a long time. So long. Like, it's been rotting so long you can't actually tell how long it's been dead. But we haven't actually seen any human bodies yet, nope. have we? Nope. Interesting. You know, I was going to take a spot back at the uh, the entrance leading down of okay. uh, the corpse layer, and he's going to be keeping his senses alert. What kind of senses? Any movement? Well, at the moment, Define just senses? no, not yet. <laughs> uh, just uh, if any movement or yeah, if he hears anything or feels you're anything like a vibrations. you're like a scuttling behind you. It's a little crab. Oh. There's, there's like crabs just like inside this whale carcass eating it. So there's like hundreds of crabs in there just like. In my head, I was just imagining <laughs> that that was uh, our, our other buddy. Um, <laughs> since he's got like armor on. Oh, right, right. Oh. Um, he's, he's scuttling behind you. <laughs> my detect magic is still up, yeah? Uh, or is, yes. Or is it gone? Yeah. It's still up. It's picking. It's still pinging off of the mermaid statue. Okay. Is it is it um, close enough to reach the other two rooms? Uh, Am I close enough? What's the radius on that? Okay, let me just check. Uh, I think it's thirty feet, right? Thirty feet. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. The okay. other the other, say... the other two doors are. If you're still standing outside the doors you guys were just in. Which I'm assuming 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110 feet away. Long ship. Okay. Wait, hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I did my math wrong. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 60 feet away. I was doing 10 foot squares. Okay. 60 feet away. I'm, I'm going to start to just kind of walk over to in that direction to try to pick up whatever I can um, below the deck or on the... So to help paint a picture in y'all's mind's eye, the ship is about 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100 feet long in total. Okay. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. So yeah, the other doors know. are about 60 feet away. And okay. to Enoch, since Enoch is kind of standing at the stairs, I go down into the lower deck. Mm -hmm. uh, those doors are about 10, 5, 10, 20 feet away from Enoch. So. <laughs> Enoch wants to get some of those crabs at some point, so... <clears throat> There's a bunch That'll of be a goal for him. Yeah, that's going to be a goal for him at some point. But he doesn't want to do it yet. He needs a, another carrying. He doesn't want to kill him yet. Combat encounter for hundreds of crabs. <laughs> oh no! But yeah, are you going to go? You're going to investigate the other two doors on this level. Okay, left or right? Uh, clockwise. Whichever <laughs> one that is. Okay, I'll say right. Uh, okay. And I'm def I'm definitely like wanting to get there first to check out if what what's magical. Nothing magical. No pings. All right. Good to know. Okay, the same wooden doors always. The ones that keep falling off their hinges when you open them. All right. Uh, let's try this one out. 
Good. <laughs> and he's going to try to have it not fall off. Slight a hand check. <laughs> okay. Or some uh, <laughs> athletics check, actually. Athletics? Or you can do ac- athletics or acrobatics. Acrobatics. Okay. All right. Because, yeah, so you're trying to hold up a door. A rotted door, so, yeah. Why isn't it? Oh, must be. All right. Oops. It's not working today. Because I didn't restart my computer before stream, so. Uh, that's 18 plus 5, 23. 23. Fails miserably. Um, <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah, you, you can grab it. Like, you can steady the door before it falls. <clears throat> I'll try to, like, lean it up against the wall. Okay. Uh, a scattering of rusted tools lie among the floor, along with three barrels filled with whale oil. Uh, decaying material to repair the sails is also in here, and other maintenance supplies that haven't seen use in quite some time. They're just a supply closet. Hmm. I got some more oil in here. You think it's worth anything? I don't know what oh, we yeah. could do with it. I mean, whale oil is extremely useful. Uh, the barrels are about, uh, how tall would they be? Three feet tall. And they're filled to the top with whale oil. Yeah, that stuff might catch a pretty good price, I think. Do I um, know how much it, it might be worth? Uh, I probably don't, but we'll say no. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> underdark. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no, but whales underdark. underdark whales. Um, a flask of Never oil. Never bring them up. <laughs> but a flask of oil. A pint, so a pint of oil sells for about one silver. Okay. And this is a three-foot barrel worth, so. Decent amount. They're also incredibly heavy. <laughs> um, I suppose we could take them to the boat, but might want to save that for last. Well, if uh, if we need to, we can also just make this whole thing in a funeral pyre. Oh, well, I suppose we could do that. I don't know how that would affect our uh, our whale friend in the. Uh, Another plane. Well, uh, it's dead. I I think very oh. few uh, beings in the afterlife in the afterlife want to be left to rot. That's yeah, that's probably true. Um, Let me pull up the mechanics for oil being lit on fire and damage it does in case that needs that happens. <laughs> Just to let you know, in an average oil oil barrel, there are 336 pints. So, and one silver piece per pint, so 336 36 30 silver. Gold so or 30, 36 gold. Yeah, roughly. 30, it's actually, that's in change. Does, um, it doesn't go bad, does it? It <laughs> doesn't uh, go wrong. Oil? Oil, no. Oil, yeah. Or some, like, cooking oils do, but not not whale oil <laughs> probably not I don't know <laughs> we'll find out I guess yeah you'll find out while I look it up alright I guess uh, next one hey 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 guys yeah if you find yes. a if you find a an empty container put it to the side please I want to uh, collect some crabs is there any uh, empty containers in there? Uh, if you could make some empty containers, that'd be good too. There is make some. <laughs> yeah. So it empty things out. The flash point of whale oil is 230 degrees Celsius, 446 Fahrenheit. Fun fact. Anyways, yeah, no, right. there's no containers. It's just like a selection of supplies that have been left to kind of just like. Justin. Yep. What would happen if? you put something into a bag of tricks as opposed to taking something out. It's, it still functions as a normal bag, so... Yeah. You just put it in the bag of tricks, that's all. Because bag of tricks just holds a bunch of these fluff balls. Yeah. <laughs> I was just kind of like, hmm, what's, what's a container? Hmm. 
Anyway, I'm going to be thinking about that for a while. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's check out this other room. Uh, well, yeah, we'll keep an eye out for some, uh, for something to put crabs in. Worst yeah. comes to worst, you, you could always use the box we just opened. Lockbox. Oh, yeah, our lockboxes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. I don't know if it's big enough. I don't uh, know how big crabs the, are. The, 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 lock, the lockbox that had the figurine in is like this. And the crabs are, you know, they're varying, like, they're varying in sizes. Like, like, Maybe get two or three of them. You can probably, I fit, think, I think, you can probably fit two crabs per lockbox. I think Enoch smashed one of the lockboxes. Yeah, one of those. Oh, yeah, I broke of them. I broke it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Are you getting ready? The other room now? Okay. Athletics or acrobatics check to make sure the door doesn't fall off its hinges. Wow. Not rolling bad. Uh, 21. 21. Uh, long decayed ropes and shelves hold the remains of severely rusted ballista arrows, and they are beyond repair. So it looks like it might have been a room that once stored siege weapon ammunition. So ballista, like ballista arrows. Hmm. But yeah, they're all like rusted and like bent and beyond use. From okay. what we know, is this typical like boat, like whaling ship? Yeah. What you would expect yeah. to see? Okay. Yeah. You said there is some extra rope. Uh, decayed ropes. So like, oh, okay, they're like wet and mushy and oof, not really okay. worth of use. Rotted. Yeah. yeah, and mending does yeah. not fix rot. No, it's, it's a tough one. Uh, hmm. All right. Well, uh, I suppose that's just more clues solidifying what this place seems to be. I mean, we haven't seen any signs of people, um, which is a little odd. Well, I mean, this place isn't. They, the people could have been injured on the crash and well they they could have abandoned ship they could have or, abandoned ship or they could have been pulled off by predator taken away by predators yeah they could have they could have tried to mm. to you know get off and survive uh, but uh, I don't know I, I do have an odd feeling um do any of y'all do uh uh, magic mumbo jumbo to do any of you are you able to like create fire at all well uh we have all these flames that we lit not too long ago yeah um, but they don't they're not producing yeah, they don't, yeah they don't burn really um I don't think I do I can make light <laughs> uh um, I can make light as well I can also make daylight but that doesn't uh, and I can, if you want to destroy something, I can, I could, you know, destroy things. But uh, um, that's about it. I think I might just want to test something out here. Uh, uh, you see that? Okay, yeah, because there's a, uh, a small oil uh, container, right, from one of the lockboxes. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, yep, pint a, of a pint oil. of a pint of whale oil. Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna try something here, and I'm gonna pour like a, a couple drops on like uh, the rail, okay. the wooden rail on the ship, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna just use my uh, flint to try and light it and see what, see if if it has the same effect as we've been seeing lately. Uh, it lights, and the flames don't move, and they don't give off any heat. Hmm. Is it a fairly large flame? Yeah, but again, no heat, and it doesn't burn. Like there's, it's not. You can see it's just sitting, and it's not actually burning anything. It's just resting on the oil. That's very spooky. Well, it's burning the oil, but it's not like giving off heat or anything. And you look at the oil, and the oil is actually not being burned off either. Similar to how the candle isn't melting still. The candle's still, like, 100% lit. Strange. Oh. Oh. It's very odd. What if only magical fire burns here? Well, I don't have that. I don't think any of us have that. 
Yeah, we wouldn't know if we did, if it was true. Unless, unless I put a fire in, uh... uh here's a, here's a thing a I hatch, can try. But I guess that would be... Let, let me try this. Hmm. And he's going to, uh, make another little, uh, drop of the oil mm -hmm. on the rail. Mm -hmm. And he's going to imagine, uh, like, the fires, the many instances of fire that he's seen. Campfires, uh, torches, things like that. And he's going to create a minor illusion of fire where, uh, where, um the oil is okay just makes a little makes an, an illusion of fire mm -hmm. he opens up his eyes mm -hmm. and puts his hand closer to it it's just yeah it's just an illusion so okay <laughs> <laughs> do they look like, the same do they look like maybe that's what's going on here this could be an illusion no he's not he's not oh, making okay. it look the same he wants he he's trying to see if it makes real if nope. like oh, okay if there's yeah, like yeah. some type of switcheroo happening nope it's <laughs> fire so no, no switcheroos yeah unfortunately hmm. oh very strange it's very it's very odd how it doesn't i don't detect any magic with it it's there it's driving me crazy it seems so strange it's hard to believe it wouldn't be magic But oh well, I suppose. Wasn't this place like, oh no, what did they say? It was like uh, a really bad place. Maybe that just... Well, it, was a battle, it was one of the battle sites for the Calamity, so that could be a reason. It could just be like lingering effects. Yeah, that makes sense. So maybe more of a sort of, I don't know, theological type effect mm -hmm. rather than a magical? Or... Yeah, or I, mean, I think like... so. Or maybe it's just an effect that just happens. Maybe it's not really magical. Maybe it's just, you know, how the trees are made of glass now. I mean, were they magical to you? Is that not odd? No, they, they weren't, which is so, also a little surprising. <laughs> uh, so maybe it's not, maybe it's just something with the, um, something the with the geography. Yeah, yeah something. It could just be a lingering effect of the calamity. It's what I think. All right. Well, that, I don't think you should let it bother sense, you I too suppose. much. Yeah, I don't think that's you're going to figure out what's going on with this <clears throat> with this place. Um, All right. Yeah. Um, I guess do I'm going want... to do one one last scan of the of like the rigging and like uh, any it's... leftovers up at the top just it's, to see yeah. if there's anything. That uh, so out. I'm gonna look back through here. Uh, yeah, the most of the wheel. most of the rigging has fallen into the ocean, like the sails and that. Yeah. Uh, at the fort, at the back of the ship, on the forecastle, you do see, or no, the quarter deck, you do see the wheel. Uh, it is covered in barnacles, and the wood looks like it's soggy with rot. Uh, and like if you touched it, it'd probably just like <clears throat> crumble. Uh, the forecastle of the ship, you can see a ruined ballista that lies in ruins. And the figurehead of the ship that usually rests at the front of the ship, they used to like ram into other ships or stuff, that kind of thing. It's burst up through the deck of the forecastle, so it's just kind of like protruding through the wood at the front end of the ship. Uh, and it appears to look like a nude gnome with a sizable tuft of chest hair and flexing with a curled, thick mustache. And that's the, that's the figurehead of the ship. <clears throat> that's awesome. I like it. Um, do we want to? go down uh, to see what's in the basement or yeah I mean there's uh, I think we've learned just about all we can from up here so it's not right. much I'll go first if there are uh, fog thingies again they really didn't uh, affect me too much as mm -hmm. much as it affected y'all so alright alright the corpse layer and he'll mm -hmm. heave it up on his shoulder and he'll tuck his mermaid underneath his armpit and he'll begin to make his way down okay <clears throat> uh 
I th believe I said these stairs were rotted last time. Probably. Yep. Uh, how much do you weigh? Including <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's initially 300 pounds. Okay. Um, the stairs um, crumble away as you take He's about four, yeah. four. And you fall 10 feet into the lower I, deck. You fall 10 oh. feet into the lower deck. <laughs> you cast a feather fall? I was going to. I guess I don't know that it's 10 feet. <laughs> It's up to I you. Don't know. Yeah, you don't. I mean, I I've seen the. Yeah, it's not it's not far down. It's up to you. Featherfall. And I won't if okay. it's if, so... it, if it seems obvious that it's not that far. Then I. Won't. Okay, so you know, you just <laughs> face plant and you take three bludgeoning oh. damage, <clears throat> and the stairs are all uh, just fall away, and the rest of you are kind of like standing up on the main deck, looking down at Enoch. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, are you all right? Yeah, he's gonna get stand up. Okay. You are currently in a deck that is covered in black sand uh, and water that has pooled inside through very small holes in the ship. Small crabs scuttle out of sight and the walls are covered in barnacles, like thick with barnacles. Uh, 22 benches are built into the deck of, the, of this lower deck where the crew would like sit and row. Uh, there are the remains of oars lying in pieces on the floor. A set of stairs near the front of the ship descend downwards. So uh, where you are <clears throat> is behind you. The stairs descend downwards. Uh, and beyond the stairs is a set of double doors. And then at the back of the ship are two separate single doors. Hmm. Let's go to the double doors. Is it is it very dark down there? Does anyone uh, need light? It's pretty dark. I'll put up a, a some dancing lights. Just I don't think anybody around. needs lights. Oh, does it? Like, well, Linda, oh yeah, I think everyone has dark vision. We so all have dark don't, vision. You don't need lights. <clears throat> I, yeah, I, I mean, I don't have dark vision, but I'm blind. In fact, dark vision yeah. does not <laughs> grant you advantage or any. It doesn't like grant you. You still you, you, so fun fact. I think with dark vision, you still get disadvantage on perception checks. Oh, okay. Otherwise, if you couldn't see in the dark at all, you just can't make perception checks. But with dark vision, uh, you do disadvantage. Yeah, That's I think it, I think it's PHP. Yeah, I think I think it's tied to um, uh, uh, the bright light, you know, dim light. Yeah. Um, so like it, so things can still be dim light. I think is what the 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 dark vision uh, sometimes is ruled as yeah. depending on how it's explained in the racial themes pull this up because there's a whole section on it so like dark dark darkness is dim light or something along those lines oh uh, here we go vision and light dark vision here we go uh so yeah dark vision you can see in dim light as if it were bright light and darkness as if we're dim light yeah. Uh, so areas of darkness are only lightly obscured as far as that creature is concerned. Okay, yeah. So, cool. So, yeah, it's dark down there, obviously, but you all can see as if it were dim light. Okay. <clears throat> um, so we're going to the, the double doors? We all have to get down there first. Yeah, I was oh, going to yes, say. I'm right, going to the double doors. Wait, oh, Enoch, wait, hold Linda. on, hold on. Or wait, uh, Enoch. Oh, Lindak tells himself to wait. Wait, Lindak. <laughs> Me. <laughs> wait. It's a ten, oh, freeze. It's a ten foot drop. Uh, if you want to make the drop without taking falling, bludgeoning, falling damage, you can make an acrobatics check. I can catch you. You're gonna catch us, Lindak. You're not gonna. Catch, you can't catch me, and Lindak's gonna do that. Just, hey, just jump down. Lindak, Lindak, wait, Lindak, wait, wait, Lindak. Yes. You do that last, all right? Just uh, hold this rope. He holds it. Thanks. What's <laughs> Lindax? Linda can hold. Just jump. I'm like, 240, he's seven, 240 pounds. Yeah, Enoch is seven foot, so like he could reach his arms up and essentially touch. Yeah, it's a ten foot drop. You can, just, you can just hop down and do I can like grab y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go and I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll use you as like a booster. You can like kind of carry me down. Like the cheerleader basket hold of the hands. Yeah, I'm just like grabbing onto your shoulders. <laughs> Like I'm like uh oh, like Gravels is gonna make his way down. Okay, you can make your way down easily. Yeah, Lindak's holding the rope, so whoever doesn't want to use the rope you can just help get helped out by Enoch. And then Lindak tosses the rope down. Yeah. 
and rolls an acrobatics check for a 10. Knock loose of the way. So, yeah, 10's fine. And you can see his one foot just into the... He's like... One sec. And pries his uh, foot out of the floor. Before yeah. I put the, on that real quick. <laughs> before I put the rope back in my pack, I'm going to cut off a, a chunk of it. So, yeah. Okay, so these doors? You got the stairs going down. Behind those stairs, double doors. And then at the back end of the ship are two separate doors. Oh, wait, no, let's and go then to like the two 22 doors. benches where people would sit and row the ship. And black yep. sand on the floor. Like patches of it. Probably came in through the beach because the beach is also black sand. I forgot to mention it. Is my yep. detect magic uh, gone now at this point? Uh, at this point, I'd say no because it hasn't been 10 minutes yet. Okay. Then I'm still just kind of... <laughs> still not pinging anything. Still not, not killing anything? All right. That's fine. Uh, actually, it is. Uh, 30 feet? It's 30 feet, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember where this would be. Uh, it's coming from <clears throat> the one of the doors at the back end of the ship, one of the single doors, the one on the left. This one has something in it. All right. Let's go. Tell what do you mean? What? What do you mean it has something in it? Oh, it, it's uh, something magical. Oh. Oh, that. Oh, you still got that? Okay, yeah, yeah. Not, not pinging off any. Not pinging off a school of magic, so it's most likely a magic source, etc. Um, I will say, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give that information. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. All right. And I guess I'll just look around while moving in that direction. Okay. You don't see anything. Just the just the benches. Can we get an idea as to like what this area was before? Uh, the lower deck, also known as the ore deck, where the crew would sit on benches and row the ship. Oh. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. Hmm. He's gonna position himself in front of the other door that didn't ping. Okay. Anything. All right. So yeah, acrobatics or athletics? If you want to open the door without it falling down. All right. I mean, we we've already been kind of pretty loud. <laughs> I imagine breaking True. through the stairs and stuff. So, I'm I'm not terribly worried. But as a as a professional. Plus, yeah, Enoch did like crump, fall, and <laughs> yeah. So I mean, yeah. yeah. But as a, as a <clears throat> professional, not exactly subtle. <laughs> as a professional in my own practice, okay, I'm going to try and uh, do it quietly. Okay. So as Gravel is doing that quietly, Enoch is going to <laughs> oh, smash the other door. Okay, it just splinters just... into pieces because it's so rotted. Yeah. But he wants to do it. He wants to time it where he watches Gravel, and as Gravel is like easing it, he's okay. gonna just make me just a slight of hand check. Does that give me disadvantage? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I was like, like what the heck? <laughs> yeah, just slide a hand, Enoch, to see if you can time it. <clears throat> five. No. The five. You're like a good like two seconds late. Okay. <laughs> so, <Makes sense. laughs> so yeah, your door just splinters into pieces. You can see in yours. We're gonna go with gravels first. What'd you get, by the way? Gravel. Uh, I got a uh, twenty-three. Okay. Jars line the shelves where long dead leeches rot in their own fluids, as well as jars of strange tonics. There's a small table in the back of the room that houses ruined medical instruments and, a, and piles of decaying bandages. So a medical cabin. This is this is where the magic stuff is being. Yeah. Uh, which area? Uh, under from? a pile of decaying bandages. Okay, I will we'll go over to those bandages and sort of take my take like a dagger or something and just kind of like. Yeah, they're like they're gooey, so like when you pick them with a dagger, they kind of just slop. Uh, and... Yeah, I'm not really picking them up so much as I'm just kind of pushing them yeah, out like, of the it's way. Yeah, like it's like you're pushing mush. Just. Ew. Uh, and you find a severely decayed satchel that looks like it contains a vial filled with a crimson liquid. It's a satchel that it contains a potion of healing. Oh. oh. 
Oh. Just a basic potion healing. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, that's that's what I found. That's cute. Justin, that's cute. Nice little potion healing in a medical room. Yeah. It's a medical <laughs> room. If, if Detect Magic wasn't up, there would have, been, have to be an investigation check, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Cute. I, will, I will put that in my... Uh, okay. er, Enoch, my, no. your door that you destroy two seconds later, eight beds are nestled against the walls of this room, and each of them are covered in a thick layer of mold, like about that thick. Like its own blanket of mold. Uh, the beds are sopping wet, and you can see the moisture permeating them. Looks like this might have been the guest cabin for like people who were like guests on the ship. Nothing else of interest. He's gonna grab his amulet, and he's gonna do a divine sense. What's the radius on that? I think it's sixty feet. Let me double check. And does it tell you how many? It is sixty feet. Um, let me double check. Uh, as an action, does. your awareness until the end of your next turn, you know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within sixty feet of you. Okay. Yeah, directly below. You know the type of any being whose presence you sense, undead. but not the identity. Undead, and one deck below, but you don't hear them. Um, is there like a rotted area in this? All over. Hey, back up, everybody. Oh, go stay up into a rotted spot. <laughs> no, you go yeah. over there. Uh... You go over there. Okay. No, he's going to take the... No, he's going to take the Morning Star. Mm -hmm. And he's going to... To the floor? On the ground. Make an attack roll. Okay. Just... Oh, fuck. 24? Yeah, you splinter a, a, about like a, we'll say like a three foot diameter no, no, three foot diameter hole? No way. Uh, but like a <laughs> two foot diameter hole. We're just watching like what, what are you doing? And yeah, you just <laughs> the <laughs> next like <laughs> what about the element of surprise? No, 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 no. Hello? He's gonna He's gonna take his morning star and he's gonna like shake it underneath, like he's gonna stick it into the hole and start like wiggling around. Does he hit anything? No. Cal, I think Enoch's lost it. Uh, no, there's undead under here. There. Sorry, there's undead. There's oh. Undead things under the. Floor. Oh, you're also you're also pinging. Technically, no, you're not pinging the top of the ship because I don't think it doesn't detect them from when they're on other planes mm -hmm. of existence. So it does not detect the whale the whale ghost. But yeah, it ping, oh. it's pinging in the hold of the ship. Okay, maybe we should avoid going downstairs. How about that? Uh. uh well, I... Uh, Unless we want to go downstairs. Maybe we, we should here, set a trap. Are we here to deal with the... With the... Yeah, whatever we're looking situation, for. Situation, or are we... Uh, down there. Like, why aren't he's they gonna roaming the ship? He's going to stick his hand into the hole. Okay, nothing happens. Is it cold? Is it's, it colder? Uh, it's humid. I don't like that. And the smell of decay and mold and rotting wood and stagnant water is rising up out of that hole. Oh, okay. I thought I could see something, but nope. You can't see anything down there? Mm -mm. Distinct. Is there a, there's a staircase going down? Yeah, near, it's near the set of double doors at the front of the ship. There's a okay. set of stairs going down. Enoch, do you mind if I have a look? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Do you want me to hold your feet? Uh, no, no, I can look over a ledge. Yeah, but it's rotted. It's okay, I've got another uh, fall if any. Here, just hold my hand. Just... Okay, he'll hold his hand. No, I'm just going to lean over how and far, look down in there. How far down do you want to look into the hole? Because right now you're only seeing uh, two feet of water covering the floor. Two, two feet deep. Feet... Two feet deep. Oh. The floor is flooded with two feet deep water in the hold. The one we're currently in. No. No. The next floor down the next has floor down two feet of water. Down. Okay, sorry. Uh, but you, yeah, can't I guess see, I'm gonna... you can't see much unless you get deeper into the hole. Or go down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm going to, like, 
look around in there since I've got dark vision. I might as okay. well like so like peek around. Okay, hammocks lie on the ground. Well, they shouldn't. It's not ground, but they lie in the water. Uh, while some are still hooked to the ceiling, adhered by decades of rust and barnacle growth. The walls are covered in an immense growth of coral, barnacles, and mold. The wood of the ship, so much so the wood of the ship isn't noticeable. So it's just coral, barnacles, and mold. So you can't actually see the wood. Uh, the air down here is humid and reeks of decay, mold, rotting wood, and stagnant water. Uh, the floor of this entire area is sitting in about two feet of water, and bits of debris that were once hammocks, lanterns, candles, and other supplies float through it. At the back end of this area of the ship, are a set of double doors that have fallen into the adjacent chamber. All right, I don't, and you don't, I don't see any undead. I don't see anything. Um, what, what do you see? A bunch of hammocks, um, other little like lanterns and supplies like that floating around. Uh, some double doors way back there. They're busted it's down. Floating, so it's, it's wall. Oh, it's water down there? It could yeah, be something yeah. in the water? Hmm, maybe. It's, I'll, it's two I'll feet. Try to you don't, it's two feet deep. You don't, you don't really see anything. Okay, so it's murky. Uh, more or less, yeah. Okay. Just a combination of, like, like all of the, the bright the... the bright lights of what light does get down there is kind of shining. And the erosion and of, like, and things. it's, like, and... all the erosion of, like, the metal that's in the water and the candles that float in and like the hammocks yeah. like it's just like it's a, a lot of detritus it's yeah it's, a, it's like yeah cool ah it's this i can't see anything in there it's all murky hmm. all right is there another way down the stairs another Do you... set of stairs yeah near the is double there... doors yeah is there anything else around on this uh deck well, there's the uh, double, double, uh, the double, double doors. doors. Yeah, that's it. We haven't explored. Well, Might be worth looking at quickly. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can get some more clues. Okay. So heading over to the double doors, that are directly five feet behind the stairs, going down. Okay. Same as I'm before. Not Stay positioned at the stairs okay. while they go to the double doors. Same as before, <laughs> if you want to open them. Athletics, right. acrobatic, or if you just want to let them fall. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Nat one. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, what is that? Because Nat ones aren't on an automatic fail. So what does that bring it up to? Uh, six. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the wood is like so rotted. Your your finger kind of like your hand, your fingers squish through it. And there's like wood gunk all over your fingers. But this room reeks of stagnant water and waste. Mold covered benches line the walls of this room where the mold creeps up the walls towards the ceiling. Four holes are carved into the benches, and you can clearly tell that this was once a privy at some point. Yeah, great. All right. And that stench is just that stench is just coming out. Of... I'm using a map. Yeah. That is a where sailing ship or yeah on D and D Beyond and the privies are mm -hmm. behind double doors. That's so weird. I, mean, I thought so it was we gotta be air like it out, y'all. You gotta like <laughs> open the doors to air and, it out. Yeah, <laughs> and, space to like and walk four, and out. four oh, holes. Four yeah. holes. So people could just sit on like you just sit side by side with your buddies and just. Have a shit at the same Hang time. Hang out. <laughs> this is why pirates in that back then did not live long. Um, yeah, because it's, they it's, had to look each other in the eyes while they were taking a shit. shit. That's why. And, so we know where the double doors and the bottom, uh, <laughs> the bottom layer are. Uh, the double doors on the bottom layer are on the opposite side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not directly below a privy. Like, oh, what's that? That makes. <laughs> But that's a shower. I thought it was just it's like, a, I don't know, like a waste doors. disposal or something. No. <laughs> yeah. You think the privy would be on the lower deck? Yeah. <laughs> and then if they pooped into the water, it would be water getting into the ship, so who knows. But yeah, Maybe that's all that room was. Is this, is this a privy? And you hear more scuttling. 
Yeah. Coming from the holes. Yeah. I'm not gonna not gonna look in the holes, but I'm gonna give the room like a, a look over. Nope. Once over. That's it. All right. Round it up. Let's go. It's a shit house. There's. Oh, all right. There's gravel. There could be loot in the holes. Yeah, you better check nope, it out, I'm bud. Not. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Right. Before we leave, does anyone uh, want to take a moment? No. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> mm, I don't feel safe using these facilities. Alright. Okay, shall I go again to test the stairs? These stairs uh, don't appear as rotted. They appear stable. Okay. Maybe, maybe we should walking. go... <laughs> okay. You're walking down? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Same as I described it before. The water is difficult terrain, so... Because it's two feet deep. <clears throat> but yeah hammocks lie on the ground some hooked to the ceiling adhered by decades of rusted barnacle growth and shit just floating in the water not shit but like debris and detritus and then an immense growth of coral barnacles and mold on the walls and yeah double doors on the opposite on the other end of the ship that have been fallen into the adjacent chamber he's gonna trudge oh, that was the towards the uh, double doors is everybody going down Mm -hmm. uh, yeah Okay. Wait, Gravel, do you need to... Do you want to... Do you want to wade through this water? Or would I'm, you prefer to, like, be up on my shoulders? I would prefer it and do much better on my equipment if I were just out of the water in general. He'll grab him by, like, the, the collar and okay. pull him up and sit him on his shoulder. All right. I on have his... my dress, like, hitched up. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, it's gross. Um, yeah. The water <laughs> is not cold, the water would would basically been going up to my chin. The water is surprisingly oh, warm. Um, and as you get to the middle portion of this deck, I need everyone to make perception checks. Is this with this? Okay. I'll say with... this is with advantage because of Enoch's divine sense that he did earlier. Oh, nice. Okay, but I remember we were talking something about. Uh... I don't want to look everything up, but yeah, uh, with All advantage because right. of divine sense. Lindak got a five plus five for a ten. Twenty-three. So Lindak, okay. 23, Gravel. 18. 18. Okay, so Enoch and Gravel are not surprised to Lindra. I got a, a dirty 20. You're not surprised. The only one who's surprised is Lindak. Ah. As there is a wet snapping sound, like rotting wood being broken, and then sploosh, sploosh, in the water as three severely rotted whalers covered in barnacles and mold shuffle forward, freeing themselves from the sea life encrusted walls. Hence why Gravel couldn't see them when he poked his head in. They were like... Yeah, um, <laughs> gross. Their dead, bloated eye, gray eyes staring as small crabs crawl to hide beneath their decaying mold and barnacle-ridden clothes, and they're wielding rusted swords with water foaming out of their mouth. Following them from the wall behind you, so on the opposite side of the ship, so the left is where these guys are coming from, the right side, so, yeah, um, mm -hmm. is another individual, a dead human man with a big bushy beard, the same man in the locket that Gravel found with the toddler and everything. Uh, and he's covered in tattoos, a silver key tied to his neck. However, his legs have split into what appear to be shadowy tentacles as a large starfish is stuck to his rotting face. His lower jaw has fallen away, revealing a maggot, revealing maggot infested teeth. And in his mouth is a small scrap, a small crab that is slowly gnawing away on the swollen gray flesh that was once a tongue. <laughs> the figure raises a great sword and lets out a <laughs> and I need you all to roll initiative. <laughs> fucking gross. Oh, that, was a, that was a very detailed. I hate this. That's so wait, awesome, do I get my Justin. plus three? You do get your plus three. Okay, so I get a plus two on whatever I roll. So I'll roll my initiative and then <sighs> grab what'd you get? Oh, uh, I got a 19. Enoch. I got a 19 too. Nice. Uh, okay, you're definitely... I'm going to put you at an 18 just because d and Ron doesn't split it up yet. Tilendra! Got a 17. Okay. Oh, wow. Enoch got a 10, but also Lind or Linda got a 10. Linda's a surprise. Come on. All right. So, first up is Gravel. As these things are like freeing themselves from the coral growth. One of them with tentacles for legs and is holding a big great sword. And the crab okay. gnawing on his swollen tongue. Uh... Let's start with the lesser threats and, first. Uh, the lesser ones from where you are are 10 feet to your left, and the mm -hmm. big guy with the tentacles is 10 feet to your right. 
Okay. Let's go after the lesser ones first. Go for um, it. I'm going to do... Um, just so I can get sneak attack, mm -hmm. uh, I am going to... Uh, also, quickly, it looks like they these guys can move through the water without any hindrance. Great. I'm going to stay on Enoch, so I'm going to do use a bonus action and sacrifice all my movement for steady aim. Okay. Uh, and uh, do an attack on one of the lesser ones. Go for it. Uh, with advantage. Mm -hmm. What do you mean sneak attack if it hits, which it's probably going to? Uh, 16... Oh, that plus. hits. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's... Just... <laughs> And every time they moan, it's just like foam and water coming out of their mouth. Ooh. All right, so that's a total of 5d6 plus 5. Yeah, these things are real gross. <clears throat> that's not great. Uh, that's 10, 13, 18 piercing damage. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm nice. I'm going to send you the closest approximation, like because what these things look like in the book, what the mm -hmm. book they're from. And I'm going to just post a picture so you can get a kind of sense of what these things look like. Cool. But I've embellished their description a bit with, like, grossness. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, God. <laughs> you do embellish it, you get exactly what it looks like. That's disgusting. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. And yeah, the All leader right. of them has like a crab gnawing on his tongue, which is my favorite part because I took inspiration with those parasites that like eat fish's tongues. Anyways, is that your turn, Gobble? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, here in my mouth. That's, uh, that's, that's everything. Right. right. There. Enoch! You got, three, so how... you got three on your left, ten feet away, and the big guy on, on your right, ten feet away. Oh, Dad, get the little ones. Okay. Shuffle. And I as can't he does, be he... I'm surprised. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, okay, he's so. He's like, what? <laughs> he's going to, as a bonus action, he's going to grab his holy symbol mm -hmm. and he's going to say, uh, he's going to call for his, uh, his mistress. Um, and the blood is going to be soaking the, flowing down from his eyes as the, head of the morning star uh burst with divine radiance as he casts divine favor as he brings the uh morning star down and you're taking the first attack you're taking the guy with tentacle legs the captain okay the the beard yeah great right? word. yep yeah and the he wouldn't have and a beard a... now that he just realized he wouldn't have a beard yeah i was thinking his lower that jaw before. fell away whatever he's that's got a, a neck, neck, he's, a neck beard. he's got a neck beard <laughs> the first one natural one? Oh yeah good old natural one whiff and as he misses and splashes through the water he's gonna bring it up for uh try to hit the uh mm -hmm. that empty hole there <laughs> oh my god i'm rolling shit that that's bad. a 10 10 oh my 10 misses god. he just <sighs> okay uh <laughs> that's really fucking embarrassing uh i'm gonna burn it let's uh i don't want this to last a long time he's gonna do action surge and he's gonna do another Two attacks. You don't want to. You don't want to hang out with these guys. Nope. That's an eighteen for the first hit. That hits. Okay. So also, when you hit, there's like okay. a flash of like cold from his body, like out of all of his pores, like a cold wind. Not cold mm -hmm. wind, but more like a like a flash of cold. And you take six cold damage, reduced to half because you're a Goliath. So three cold damage. How much do I take? You don't take any. Oh wait, hold I'm on. on. I'm riding him. Uh, <laughs> you don't take any. You don't take any from okay. this. Okay. Because I didn't do the attack. Nope. Okay, so... Three cold damage instead of six. Yeah. Um, is he undead? Yep. Okay, so I just need... Yeah, nah, he's the, just uh... a guy having a rough go of things. <laughs> okay, I'll roll... Uh... Yeah. Actually, let me check. Is he, if he, is he undead? He is undead, yeah. Guy? <laughs> yeah, then I'll roll as if I rolled yeah, a critical hit, because that rolls me two d8s already. So that's uh, 17 plus... Okay. Uh, I'm going to throw a superiority on, on that, so there's another D8 and a D4 for my divine favor. And you get two attacks yet, don't you, or no? Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's distracting strike, so the next person that gets attack on him gets advantage. Um, so that's an additional four okay. with one being uh, radiant damage. You can make another attack with your action surge? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just... <laughs> And then you actually oh, dislodge the crab that's in his mouth. 22. 
Okay, yeah, 22 hits. So yeah, the first hit, you hit him in the head, and the crab just flies out, holding on to whatever remained of this man's tongue. And then signature Enoch move. He's going to, as the head is coming up and he recoils back down, the the, the Morning Star is coming up and over to cr- crush the rest of the head. Uh, so 22 to hit. Hits, yeah. Okay. You so take six cold damage, Roost to have you take three. Three, okay. So that's 14 initially. Okay. Uh, three, and then I'm not going to do another uh, superior rate die on there. Wow, one radiant. Okay. Divine favor is not doing what I wanted to do. Okay, uh, that is it for me. Okay, Talindra. Okay. Um. Do I get the sense? Like, I don't know what this thing is. Yeah. Nope. Uh, at all, other than him being undead. Just undead. Just undead. With tentacle tentacles for legs. Okay. Um. It w- with my experience with the undead, they're generally pretty stupid. Yeah. Uh. Maybe. Maybe. Uh. Okay. Fuck it. I'll. I'll, I'll try. I'll try Atasha's hideous laughter on the main guy. Okay. Wisdom save. Um, there's a. It has. He has to have an intelligence score of four. Four or more. Or less. Four or more. Yeah. Four or more. That's right. All right. And wisdom save. Okay. Uh. Nineteen. Really? 13, 13 plus six. Damn. Okay. Uh, so no, he's that, like, uh, that doesn't. Yikes. And every time they move, you can hear like the sounds of like the crusty bits of their like clothes and body like cracking and. Close. Okay. Um. Mm. In that case, with my bonus action, I will give people a uh my mantle, mantle Alrighty. of inspiration. Ooh, nice. So that's eight number hit points for you guys. And anyone can use their movement to move. Lindak is surprised, so Lindak cannot. <clears throat> All right, I am definitely going to uh, use that. Uh, I would like to use. That. Is can I see any? Um, can I see anything that's? stable that's sticking up out of the water within uh like, jumping range or hopping here? range i'm just trying to remember it's floating. like a hammock or uh there are hammocks that are hanging from the ceiling you could hop onto uh, uh if i hopped onto one how far away would i be from would i still be within five feet of these guys or uh you'd you'd be within depends what direction you want to go <laughs> Well, not five feet. I want to move away from them. It still land on something that uh, isn't submerged. There's there's a bunch of hammocks still on the ceiling, so you could jump. What's your strength score? So I can figure out how far you can jump. Nine. So you can jump nine feet. No. Cool. Yes. So you could easily get to a hammock within that distance. Cool. Yeah, I'll. Uh, I guess I'll. I'll do that with my reaction. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. Anything else to wonder? Um, how close am I to any of these Ten guys? Feet. Okay. Um, and the water is difficult terrain, so it's half movement. And I and I'm right at the at the staircase at the moment. Uh, you guys are in the. I got you guys got to the middle of the, low of this hold before anything happened. So you're currently from the staircase. You are. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet away from the staircase. Okay. Um, and it's half movement. Cause, okay. Yep. So I'll, I'll go back. Um... Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, because of the walls and everything, it's actually 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 35 to get to the bottom of the staircase, and then 40 feet of movement to get onto the staircase. And there's a wall that is kind of... I forgot to mention this. There's a wall... That kind of like you know support wall that leads up to the other ship. So if you're standing on the staircase, you can't see anything that's happening in here because the the stairs go up. And it, okay, I'm and not it... planning on going to the staircase. I can't anyway. Um, I'll just back up a good like ten or so feet so I'm out of any kind of melee range. Here. And then I'll just I'll just hang out there. I want to be able to see them. Okay. I'm gonna send you guys a map of the ship from the just a warship map. Okay. In... And that's everything, by the way. That's, okay. that's my turn. Okay. One sec. And then, yeah. So, yeah. 
so if you look at the, you're at the very very bottom image, you're in the middle where that little circle is uh, of the okay. hole. So you're directly in the middle of area twelve. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. Uh, and you didn't move to Lindra. I, I just moved. Yeah, like ten feet back. Okay. So these things, one of them is going to follow you. Just. And they are unimpeded by this. So yeah, he's going to walk towards you and make two attacks with a rusted longsword. Okay. Uh, first, that was cocked. Uh, 16 plus 5, 21. 21, 21 to hit? Yep. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll hit. Okay. You take 10 slashing damage. Okay. And I need you to make a con save. Boy. Con, my best treat. <laughs> Um, I need to keep... that's, that's actually not bad. That's 14. 14. All right, yeah. cool. Good to know. Okay, good. I'm not going to tell anybody if you succeed or not, just so you know. Oh, okay. Just good to know. Oh. All right. Okay, it's going to, it's, it's second attack is going to swing at you now. Uh, where am I here? Yeah, it's where this lumbers forward, moaning, foam just pouring out of its mouth. Second attack. Ten to hit. Does not hit. All right, cool beans. Uh, one of these is going to move up to Enoch and attack Enoch from behind with two slashes. Uh, 23 to hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, real good for these guys. Uh, that's four slashing damage. And con save. Oh my god. That's another natural one. Seven? Seven. Alrighty! Cool. Cool beans. And then the second slash on your back. Nope. Nine to hit. Alright. That brings us to Tentacle Man. Uh, sort of his turn, that cold aura kind of comes out from him again. Uh, I'm within five feet. So Enoch. Just Enoch, because Gravel jumped off. Uh... Enoch, you take three cold damage, or you have to take one cold damage. And he's going to multi-attack you. One with a great sword, one with one of his t feet tentacles. So the great sword is a 19 to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. 10 slashing damage. Uh, I'm going to reduce that with Stem's Endurance. Okay. So that is 812 plus 3. Oh my god. So reduced it by five, so five slashing. Five, five slashing damage. Okay. And Probably then absolute shit tonight. the cold damage from the tentacle, which you'll have anyway. Yeah. Is eight cold damage reduced to half. Oh, All right. right. Uh and I need a con save. Uh oh. Uh dirty twenty? Uh, succeed. So you feel like, as it tentacle hits, you feel like it's starting to suck out your life force. So you're good. <laughs> bring us, doesn't have a soul anymore, guys. Bring Sorry. us to Lindak, <laughs> who is surprised, so Lindak doesn't get a turn. Um, Luckily for them, I never had one to start. <laughs> one of these, one of these other creatures is gonna use all of its movement to get to one of the hammocks where Gravel jumped onto and make two attacks. That's, that's why you didn't get consecuted. So, yeah. so two attacks. Two atta yeah, this one's going to use, like, yeah. No movement at all to get to gravel. And it's going to make two attacks. Wait. Oh. They can reach you. The hammocks aren't, like, up at the ceiling. Oh. It's moving towards I didn't... you. Okay, I didn't. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. So it's using its movement to get to you. And first one. 13. That doesn't hit. Second one. Eight. All right. That doesn't hit. Cool. Okay. Gravel. Cool. It's right up in front of you. Uh, it's within five feet. Yeah. The uh, the other ones. Uh, wait, did did Lindak go? He was surprised, so no. Oh, right. He was surprised. Shit. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, kill it. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> So the one I imagine it was the one that I hit that came up to me. Nope. No. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Okay. I guess we'll just spread this out. Um. 
that's gonna make things worse. Uh, oh boy. Um, yeah, based on how this is going, this might last a while. So, I'm not going to attack, and, uh, I'm instead going to cast, uh, Blur on myself. Alrighty. Uh, to give things disadvantage on attacks against me. Alrighty. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, so, I guess, let's see, what can I do is, with bonus you, action? Grab a constant cast non-detection on himself, right? Yeah. Is non-detection concentration? No. Okay, cool. Alright. Um, so, then, as a bonus action, I'm going to... Uh, there, does it look like there's any, like, places where I can break line of sight to hide or uh, anything on these guys? Not anywhere nearby. The staircase oh, okay. would be the closest. If we're using if we're using that map, there's just nothing. Yeah. But if there's like There's so nothing. There's a lot of There's hammocks, okay. but everything else is in the water. Yeah. This is their home. Yeah, essentially. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Um It is yeah, it's it's not the best environment for a ranged fighter. Yeah, it's not. Um I guess I'll, I'm I'm gonna pull out my short sword um, and not get sneak attack or anything and just be a level one fighter essentially with a lot of hit points because that's just what I'm gonna be for forever. Okay. Until until something else happens. All right. Uh, <laughs> anything else? Just like <laughs> um, action cast blur. Uh, no, this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna actually um use my uh, bonus action to disengage okay. and move to Lindak. Okay, so... Okay. Yeah. So, that's are you, what I... Are you getting on Lindak's shoulders or are you going to be in the water? Uh, I'm hoping that I can get, like, put him between me and the zombies... Okay. And uh, hopefully stand on, like, something, like a crate or whatever, is, if there's there anything no out, out of the water. There um, are. A hammock, sorry. I meant a hammock. Okay. Let's say a hammock. All if right. there's a hammock, I'll hop on a hammock. Okay. You know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, shit. Uh, he's going to... Oh, I need... Okay. Uh, I need to make some concentration rolls. I need to make three of them for my divine favor, so I'll do that now. Right. So, 19 for the first one, mm -hmm. 17 for the second one, and 23 for the third one. Wow. I got hit three times, right? Yeah, Yeah, because the dude missed one. Yeah. Okay. Used all your good rolls on this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Uh, I'm gonna, he's, Enoch's going to just continue to try to lay waste to this dude's skull okay. with the corpse slayer. Sure. 14 to hit uh 14 does hit oh okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all out we're gonna divine smite I remember that have this nice so uh fuck divine smite i get 2d8 so 3d8 for the divine smite mm -hmm. plus 2d8 <laughs> from the corpse slayer mm -hmm. so i get 5d8 mm -hmm. okay fuck so I'll roll the corpse layer first because that's the uh, that's the slashing damage. So six plus I have to do it that way. Six plus six plus eight is fourteen. 14. Yep. And then oh fuck, for the divine smite, it is three d eight, three, and then a d four for my divine favor. Yeah. And then yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is all radiant damage. So this is 16 radiant damage. Okay. Didn't roll that well. Uh, fuck. Okay. And I'm gonna make another attack at him. Okay. Oh my god. For a 10 to hit. 10 misses. 
Just <laughs> I think, that, I think that's it for Enoch. Okay, yeah. Talindra. Okay. Um, so it looks like everyone is uh, still has some of their... Oh, is, that, is that right, guys? Uh, everybody but you and Enoch. With me and Enoch? Okay. Um, in that case, as my for my bonus action, I'll start with that. I'm going to okay, inspire mark, Enoch. Okay. Mark off a charge of your... Um, yeah. So that's a D8 um, for you. And then um, I I have one right in front of me, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to uh, get it with my, with my dagger, with my, with okay. my uh, it's venomous dagger. Okay. Uh, what dagger is it? The spider fang Yeah, uh, spider, spider touch or something spider like that. Spider fang one? Okay. Cool. Better thing, that's the one. So where is it? Sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to hitting things with like <laughs> with like actual weapons. This is this is new for me. I'm trying to find where it is on Spider Fang. I'm so sorry. Okay. I, I it should be know. it's a D four plus like to hit it's a D twenty plus six. Yeah, I'm trying to find the button it's that does your... like oh actions. There it is. Yeah, okay. It's sorry. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's a twenty-two to hit. That hits. Don't roll poison damage. Or actually, it needs to make a con save, but it doesn't take poison damage at all because they're immune to poison. So just roll normal oh, dagger damage. Okay. One d four plus three. It's still more than my vicious mockery. So. Um, four damage. That is. Oh, that was one d four plus three. Yeah. That's, so that's four. Yeah. Alrighty. Anything else? That's action. Bonus action. Um. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, because I can't leave without okay. getting hit. So yes. That's going to bring us to the one that you just attacked, who is going to attack you twice with its rusted longsword. Sure. Uh, that's a 13 to hit, which misses. And a 11 to hit, which misses. Just. Yeah. All right. Ah. Cool. Uh, the one that's engaged with Enoch from behind is going to make two attacks. Uh, 16 plus 5, 21. Mm-hmm. Okay. 7 slashing damage. All right. And I don't need a con save. I don't. And then it's going to attack again. Second attack. For a natural 20. Oh, good one. <laughs> 12, we'll sla 12 slashing damage. <laughs> Then brings us to Tentacle Man. Tentacle Man. So, yeah, everyone is not only people are within five feet of this dude. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it would be everybody, technically. I think I'm the only one within five feet, though. Yeah, but he moved up to you. Oh, yeah, you moved up to him. That's right. Yeah, I married him to So, him. cool. You take one cold damage. Oh. And he's gonna get everybody. He's gonna distend whatever he has of a lower jaw, and foul ink pours <laughs> out in front of himself in a thirty foot cone, getting everybody. I need everyone to make con saves. As he just expels this ink out of in front of himself. Okay. Bomb saves are killing me. All right. Oh yeah, Lindak, he's he's here too. That's not gonna succeed. All right. So you know what you get? They won. Okay. So. Ooh, that's spicy. Uh, sorry. What'd you get? You got twenty-three. 21 for me. Okay, so you take 16 necrotic damage. Grab what would you get? 15. 15. Whatever I just said for Enoch. Oh, 16. Good. 16. Oh, good. Just that. That means y'all two take 32. Uh, Talindra. 11. 32 necrotic damage. 
great. And okay. you are blinded until the end of your next turn. That's really bad for a spellcaster. <laughs> and attacks oh, against you have advantage now. 32. Okay. Yep, and Lindek also failed, so Lindek is also 32 <clears throat> necrotic. Have, because he's resistant to necrotic. Because he's an Asimar. Asimar. Ass. That's good. Uh, the so he Asimar. <laughs> the Asimar. So Lindek takes, six, Lindek takes 16 necrotic. That Asimar. Which that is, is Which is... Oh, wait, I'm on, I'm on the wrong Lindek. Childish. <laughs> All right. How much did I say? How to sixteen? Sixteen. That's right. All right. And Lindek is also blinded. Surprised, blinded. <laughs> Could I have been blinded, Justin? Uh, blind. You can still be under the blinded condition. Yeah. Actually, really? For you? No, because I've. Nah, yeah, I don't nah, think not so. you. Yeah. Okay. I was just making have, sure. Okay. <laughs> you don't have eyeballs. I yeah. I just seem like yeah. Just like all the technicalities uh, of actually having a blind character with yeah. this. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, I'm just doing additional stuff for me. Man, yeah. 32 necrotic damage. That. That's spicy. That's scary. Yeah. It's, like, it's like 68. That. Cool beans. All right. Uh, so that's his turn. Let's see if that recharges. Oh, nope. Lindak blinded. He's going to swing at the... Man... He's gonna hold an action. No. Oh, I need to make a concentration check. That's right for blur. Yep. Oh, I do too. DC is ten. Well, good. Oh. Okay. What'd you get? I got a fourteen. Cool. Grab it. What'd you get? Twelve. Cool. Yeah, you both succeed. Both concentration holders still up. Lindek. Yeah, Lindek's blinded. So Lindek is going to. I mean, there's one with. He's gonna gonna swing at. One really doesn't want within five feet, and he can't just. Uh, he's gonna stay here, since, knowing that Gravel wants to get in the way, wants Lindek to get in the way of all the attacks. So, Lindek's gonna hold an action <laughs> in case one gets close. <clears throat> it's like, ah. All right, that brings us to the one that went after Gravel. So this one's gonna approach and get up to Lindek. Oh, man. So, he, doesn't he have like? Doesn't he have like the bonus action to send his? Dude, he's blind though he can't attack? as near he can see he's blinded he can't do it oh so the drowned blade is gonna Man. approach him and <laughs> attack well lindak gets an attack of opportunity with disadvantage because he can sense it walking close nope uh so, wait hold on wow four plus seven that hits no for 10 slashing damage wow that's his opportunity attack or reaction hold a held action whatever and this thing gets up to Lindak, and it's just going to make two attacks against Lindak with advantage because Lindak's blinded. First one hits 16 plus 5 for 4 slashing damage to Lindak. We barely hit, we barely hurt these things, guys. Uh, 10 HP, Lindak. How much did I say? How much was the damage here? What did I say? What did I say? 4, so Lindak's 10 HP is 4. Okay. Oh wait, no, he doesn't have any temp HP because of the. Uh... That happened. That's right. That's right. All right. So. Yeah, second attack. With advantage. Uh, is a four plus five, so misses. Cool. Uh, gravel. Uh, so, was it the one that I hit? earlier that is now on Talindra? Yes. Good. I will uh, do an attack on that one. Okay. Uh, um, I'm going to... Yeah. Um, oh yeah, you have the short sword out. Uh, well, I'm going to bonus action uh, just a steady aim and try to hit it with the bow. Okay, go for it. Um, okay. Come on, dice, let's go. 17 plus a bunch. It hits. Uh, okay, so that's, again, 5d6. Man, last time I rolled my attack, I forgot the last d6, because I've only got 4d6s. Brutal. That's dumb. Yeah. Whoops. I'll remember this time. Uh, 6, 4, 10. Great. Plus 2, 12. Wow. 12. 
plus five. Seventeen. And I rolled less damage than I did last time. Alright. That one looks like it's on the cusp. Super. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, that's everything. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm actually going to use my movement to oh I can't because I use my bonus action Correct. to steady aim. Shit. Okay. Never mind. Done. Enoch. Okay, let's finish this uh wait. Bonus action, second wind. Okay. Uh so that is oh, why'd I roll a D six? That's not the right one. It's a D ten plus six. That's a D eight. Where's a D ten? There it is. So uh, nine. I All heal right. nine. So what are you sitting Jeez. at? Thirty seven or thirty five. Oh, I, I thought be. you were in your fifty. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. oh no 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 no. So you're at you're at thirty five. <laughs> no, yeah, we, are, 30 we right are on the cusp yeah. of a bad day. <laughs> yeah. This is not good. <laughs> um so he is going to do a second wind okay. and he is going to make at the captain. He's mm -hmm. gonna focus his attacks at the captain. Okay. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> we we gotta we gotta take out at least one those, of these. Yeah, those, those, digi roll. those digital dice are not on, on your like... side today. No, they are not. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna roll a d8. Okay. For inspiration, so plus seven, so seventeen to hit. Seventeen hits. Okay, there we oh, go. Good. <laughs> um, so this is for the corpse layer. So seventeen. Oh, nice. Plus. An additional four radiant damage. He's looking hurt. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's make... Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shit. He's going to focus on this dude. I mean, he needs to pull attention, so he's going to focus on okay. killing the uh, captain. So he's going to make another attack. Go for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Another three. I rolled a uh, another ten. Yeah. Oh man! Wow! Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? He's just like slapping you in the face with your with his tentacles. Just <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh man, to Lind that soggy wood. To Lind, are you are currently really blinded, you. so you cannot see. I I am. Uh, so I'm, which is why I'm going which to means try. You can't, you can't. You can't use spells that require sight. Yes, I'm going to try to dispel magic on myself to get rid of the blindness. Can I do that? Uh, it is. N you do? You can try, yeah. Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> I mean, I, th I, I have every reason to believe this is magical, right? Yeah, whatever you want to do. Okay, then I'm going to do it. Doesn't work. Okay, great. Um, okay. It's, I can't it's, even, do I can't give you actually, guys you know what? I'm going to be nice about it. It's ink that gets in your eyes, so it's not magical at all. He just sprays necrotic ink. That's what okay. it was, so you would know it's not magical. There's blindness. But it oh, lasts okay. until the end of your next turn. So it ends until the end of this turn. At the end of this turn, you're no longer blinded. Okay, okay. All right, good to know. Um, so it's like physical ink that's like in yeah, front of me. Yeah, it's like okay. dissolving your eyeballs. Oh, God. Ugh. Okay. Um... Like, you could hold an action for when you clear your eyes up but wouldn't that be at the end of my turn yeah so you, yeah no, you hold you hold your action yeah you can hold your end your it, turn yeah you can hold your action and can, have set a trigger to it so it could be when i'm no longer blind can and i can see can you can so can you can you hold your action until the end of your turn really like yeah you, yeah, hold, you hold your, your action until like, a certain condition you can hold your okay action well, I'll, I'll do that then. okay what's your what are you holding like what what's... i'll i'll hold um Good question. Uh, I'm gonna hold. Um, I want to do a, a Tasha on the one in front of me. Okay. End of your turn. Then it needs to make a Wisdom save as your blindness goes away. Uh, fifteen. Oh, I think that fails. Yeah, mine's sixteen. So okay, yeah. it is prone and incapacitated, so that's its turn. Uh, all right, cool. Brings us to the one that's attacking Enoch from behind. Two attacks. First one is a 17 to hit. And the second one, second one's a 15. So the only yeah, first one hits. Okay. okay. For 10 slashing damage. Right. All right, and I need a con save for your concentration. 
Oh, right. That's right. That's right. Natural 20. Cool. And Tentacle Man. Sir Tentacle Man's turn. You take seven cold damage. Roost to half. You take three. Why am I rolling so well on these damn guys? And I need a concentration <laughs> check. Damn it. Fuck. Uh, that's a 10. Just made it. Yep. Uh, and then he's going to multi attack you with his great sword and tentacles. Great sword is a 14 to hit. Mm mm. Okay. Tentacles are a 16 plus 7. Mm hmm. So tentacles. <laughs> Uh, 14 necrotic. And... <laughs> okay. I didn't expect all these bad dice rolls on your guys' half. And, uh, so I needed two con saves. One for um, concentration and one for what happens next. Okay, so <laughs> 25 for concentration. Yep, and then another one. Uh, 22 for... Uh-huh. Doesn't suck out any of your vitality again. It would have reduced your hit max HP by... F- 14? Yeah. So. I hate my dice right now. <laughs> Lindak. Uh, Lindak is no longer blinded, so Lindak is... Oh, why didn't Lindak just hold his... He did hold his auction. Never mind. Lindak's going to swing at the one that approached him twice. Uh, yeah. That's in front of him and a little gravel. So. 8 plus 7. Uh, that'll hit this guy. And a 6 plus 7. We'll hit this guy. Okay. So that's three plus four, seven slashing damage. And you know, if you'd have been attacking the smaller ones, you would have hit all your attacks. <laughs> oh man, this is brutal. <laughs> the big guy doesn't even have high AC. It's it's so bad. <laughs> oh, six slashing damage. This one, uh, Lindak is gonna action surge. Yeah, as a fighter. Uh, yeah, action surge. Is he surge. still blind? No, he's that ended last turn. Oh, okay, cool. Because it's your next turn, and he went right after the guy who did awesome. it. So, awesome. uh, so two more attacks. Seven plus seven hits. Man, I roll really bad for one deck. Uh, and he's using a shield, so it's only a D eight. So four plus four, uh, eight slashing damage to this thing. He's chipping away at it. <laughs> oh man. Uh, and the second attack is a five plus seven, which hits for full oh, max. No, not Max. What am I talking about? Uh, eight slashing damage. Just she's chipping away at this one. This one looks like it's near death, but now it's its turn, and he's yeah, he's just he's protecting Gravel because he wants to, he doesn't want Gravel to get stabbed all over the place. So this thing's gonna attack Lindak twice now because it's still up with like six hit points. So two attacks, eighteen hits. Oh, eighteen just hits Lindak. So right through the shield and and misses. So first attack hits. For five slashing damage to Lindak. All right, this is a, an encounter that I thought would be okay. <laughs> Gravel. Uh, One in front of Talinder is like on the ground. Like, if it could laugh, it's laughing. It's just gurgling. Uh, great. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that one since it's incapacitated. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm going to go for the higher threats. So I'm going to go for the one on Lindak currently. Okay. That's I know that's within range. It is, yeah. Uh, uh, and I'm going to do a short sword attack on it. Okay, go for it. 17 plus 8. That hits. All right. And also, the one that's attacking we... Enoch from behind hasn't been hit yet. Right. So... We should take out all the other ones first. Yeah, they're... exactly. Yeah, just let everybody know. Because <laughs> they're but. just, there's just, they have so many actions. There are so many attacks per round now. We just gotta get the get the attacks out of the equation. So roll damage. <laughs> all right, uh, that's. This is the short five, sword. Yeah, that's right. Five v six. Yeah, you just get sneak attack. Yeah. Uh, and that is fourteen. Fifteen plus five. That's 20. 20 damage? Yes. All right, let's do an undead fortitude roll and see what happens. 20 damage. Uh, TC of 5 plus the damage taken. It's 25. It dies. Cool. 
Uh, and then with my bonus action, I'm going to move over to the one uh, that is prone by Talindra and do an offhand dagger attack on it. Okay, so with advantage. Yeah. But no sneak attack, because you just used your sneak attack. Correct. Uh, that's a 16 that plus a bunch. Yep. So and that's just a D4. Just, just a D4, yep. All right. Come on. Let's go. Uh, three. Okay. So I, I believe if it's not, if it gets hit during Tasha's, it has to make the save again. Yeah. And at the end of its turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, forgot, right. I forgot to do it last turn. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Hasn't been around yet. Okay. Wisdom save. Still on their, oh. it's on the, still laughing away and gurgling water. All right. So it took three damage. All right. You dealt what? What? You dealt three damage. I did three damage. Okay. Yeah. You said you took three damage. I'm like, wait, what? No. All right. Anything else? Uh, nope. I know that she is the person. If they, if anybody goes down, she's needs to be the one that's still up. Okay. <laughs> so that's why he's trying to do protection for her. Enoch. <laughs> Who is currently flanked, but I don't do flanking rules. Otherwise, this would be gross. But yeah, you know, it's your turn. You have eight hit points, I believe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Just went. Yeah. So he's gonna get. I didn't he's expect gonna... your rules to be so bad. <laughs> yeah, I've been absolute shit tonight. I was like, I'm gonna, throw, um, I'm gonna throw some undead at Enoch. <laughs> Enoch's great at taking out undead. Should be. Uh, oh, he's God. going to. Uh, it's the stink. It's the smell. It's the smell. All it's, this it's, the, it's, it's the. It's the overflowing <laughs> like, cities. The heightened senses. Yeah, for real. He's yeah, like. Whoa. Heightened senses. Um, okay, so let's. He's going to go again for the captain. He's going to make two rounds of attacks. Okay. A seventeen for the first one. Hits. Okay. Uh. And he's going to do a tripping attack, so it needs to make a uh, strength. Save okay. of fourteen. Eleven plus three, fourteen. God damn it. <laughs> so what's the damage? Oh, I need to roll another uh, mm-hmm. D eight. So thirteen plus two plus six is twenty one. Twenty one. Damn. And damn. another attack. Nice. Okay, that hits. That's a twenty six. That actually misses. Nice. Okay, no, hits, that yeah. misses. So. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Um, all right, so that's a. Uh, I'm gonna do another uh, superiority die to try to trip it again. Okay. Wow. So it needs to roll another natural one for a so four. It falls so you trip it. Let me look here because it's got ten. Can it go prone? <laughs> yeah, it can go prone. So yeah, you. For eight plus nine is seventeen damage. Nice. But he it's looks like prone. he. Is in the red now. Same. <laughs> you ain't special, sis. Yeah. Oh, I didn't roll to see if his ink recharged, which it did. He recharged his ink. <laughs> Fucking. Love that. Okay, Enoch. He's a dragon. I, I mean, I, that's. I was, uh, yeah, he's going to go. That's it. That's, uh, that's his go. All right, Talindra. The one on the ground in front of you is still like. Oh, okay. okay, I want to go over to uh, where Enoch is. Okay. Uh, and I want to give him a cure wounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna do it at the, at so the highest if, level, if like you, because if you get over there, you will be within melee dis- melee reach of the one that's stacking from behind, and the guy with the tentacles on the ground. So he's got one from behind and one in front of him. Yeah. So you can't Two. step. You can't step away now, or they'll get a tax for opportunity. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yup. Okay. So, um, and, uh, that's a problem. Eight hit points. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I definitely going to give him. He's definitely could, getting healing. It's you could cut mantle. Could, the mantle. I'm gonna. Ha- I do have mantle, so yeah. maybe yeah. I'll just give you the mantle. Sorry, I was gonna give you a bunch, but I don't know. Do you think you can stay up? Or sh- oh, man, that's tricky. The mantle. The mantle should at least prevent him from, you know, losing all of his death saves. Hopefully. If I go yeah. down, if I go, I will say this. If I go down, I would much rather you focus on healing those two than trying yeah, to get to true. me and getting fucked up. That's true. I'll, I'll I'll just give you I'll give you the mantle. Are you giving everybody, so that everyone, you giving everybody the mantle? Uh, yeah, everyone gets. I think that. Gravel still has plus eight. Nope. Oh okay. What's Gravel sitting at then? I thought you were at full. Nope. I'm at uh, forty six. Oh okay. 
because of the big cone. Right. So everyone gets eight temporary hit points. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is a spicy for... meatball. So there's the guy on on the right in front of me, correct? And then there's a guy behind Lindak a... or behind Enoch and. Wait, you're not moving to do cure wounds? You didn't do cure wounds. No, 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 I didn't end up doing uh, cure Yeah, so there's just a guy who's incapacitated on the ground laughing. Um, it, How is he looking, that one? Real bad. Okay, I'm just going to try to... Um, I'll just try to stab that one, I guess. With your dagger or... Vantage, uh, if you... Yeah, yeah, just with... Uh, just with um, with my with uh sorry let me look at what i got you got a rapier i believe i think my rapier would do more damage because it doesn't it have... would do more damage yes yes dagger is a d8 or Here. rapier is a d8 so yeah you got your rapier you got your moon touch rapier which is magical but it doesn't seem like you need magical weapons to hurt that's, these things so that's 22 to hit that hits okay in my rolls <laughs> And you're no longer blinded, so I'll remove that condition off your character sheet. For oh you. man, I, I rolled the max damage, so that's nice. uh, eleven hit points or eleven, 11 uh, damage. damage. Very nice. On did fortitude time. Seven plus three. Fuck. Eleven. Oh, it just made it. Seven plus three is eight, nine, ten. It oh, fails. Three. Yeah. Sorry. It fails. But also, on did fortitude, oh, right. the DC yeah, of yeah. five plus the damage taken, so the DC was sixteen. So does that mean it's, oh. is it's it dead it's, then? It's dead. Okay, great. Good. <laughs> so we got one, that one down. Yeah, we got two. Uh, There's the one that hasn't been hit yet, and yeah, the that one. tentacle man. Right, okay. Who's about to blast um, his ink. And uh, I guess if I can move to a, like a less, yeah. an area that's can. farther Break away. Line of sight. Now you yeah. can. <laughs> now you can. I will just kind of back, back the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that brings that, us to the that one up. that's attacking Enoch from behind. Who's going to attack twice? Huzzah! Ooh, I rolled two 18s plus five, so that's 23 for both attacks. Oof. Uh, first attack is 10 slashing damage. Mm -hmm. And the second attack is four. Two hit points. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tentacle man's turn. Half movement to stand up. And he's going to do the ink cloud. So Gravel, Enoch, and Lindak need to make con saves. Oh boy. Actually, Tylinder, how many feet did you move? Because this is difficult terrain. I guess I would have so moved max as movement, far max back as would... possible, so 15. So you'd still be in this too then. So yeah, I okay. need... I mean, because we had seen that, wouldn't... I mean... Well, I need... To, regardless... Like... Spread Never out mind, Tlindra. Right Enoch, Lindek, and Gravel con saves. Yeah. Okay. You got it. <laughs> con saves are not kiss up. Yeah, but I don't think that's gonna do much. What'd you get, Enoch? A dirty twenty. Okay, Gravel. Natural one. Nine. Nine. Okay. <laughs> the ten. Oh, Lindek. Ten total. Lindek succeeds. Okay. So Lindek will take half damage, and he'll have it again because of necrotic resistance, which is good. 68. 68? Okay. He's Eight, just throwing fireballs at us, essentially. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, gravel, 29 necrotic damage. Okay. And you are blinded That's until the end of your next turn. <laughs> so, okay. Gross. And Enoch, you succeeded, right? Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Okay. So half of 29. 14? Yep. <laughs> Your boy falls face first. Psh, the water. And Lindak takes 14, but actually takes 7. Cool. All right. That's his... Let's see. Recharges it again. Ooh, boy. But if he falls, his instinct is to, like, grip the... He wants the statue, so he's fallen with that like okay. football huddle. Cool. Good to know. Top of it. Good to know. Lindak uh, is just going to pivot and attack the tentacle guy because that guy's scary. So Lindak's going to make two attacks against that guy. And then bonus action, send his echo to the one that's that was attacking Enoch from behind to see if his echo will distract that one. But he's going to attack twice against the tentacle guy. 
Natural one for the first hit. Okay. And a 13 first, plus... And a 13 plus 7. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 13 plus 7 on the second one. 4 plus 4, 8 slashing damage to the big guy. All right. And then Lindak takes some cold damage. Because he hit. 4 cold damage. Lindax at 46 of... 43-67. That's... I think like, he's doing the best out of all of us. Uh, Gravel. <laughs> Uh, You're currently blinded. I can't, yeah, I can't see shit, so I'm pretty much just going to uh, hold, knock an arrow and hold it, and uh, the moment I can see uh, any of those bastards, I'm going to lose a shot. Okay. And your turn, you're no longer blinded. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm you, got the one at, that, uh, you got the one that hasn't been hit yet. Guy. Tentacle hit. Okay, make an attack roll. All right. I think this one is uh, a... That's a... Oh, no, this is what... Yeah, you get, you can sneak attack on this because Lindex right there. Yeah. Nine plus... Eight. Seventeen. Hits. Cool. All right, let's go. Come on, sneak thief. Sneak attack. Go. That's better. Okay, so that's one plus four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Plus four, 19. Plus five, 24. 24 damage on that one. Okay. How do you want to kill him? There's still the other guy left, but how do you want to kill this guy? Oh, wait. Undead Fortitude. Uh, Never mind. Uh, hold on. Well, let's see. 24. It's a con save. So yeah. the save is 29. Yeah. Uh, what's his con modifier? Because this might determine something here. Even with a nat 20, he can't succeed. Because his con's plus 7. You got a plus cool. 7 to saving throw. So, he, yeah. How do you want to do How do you want to kill this guy? Uh, I'm pretty much uh, setting up a layup for, uh, for uh, Lindak and getting a an arrow kind of lodged in between the bones in this guy's neck and uh yeah i'm gonna which will hopefully set up uh, a kill for lindak okay. because it's like kind of on its death door okay as you kill it then he just beheads it nice enoch i need a death saving throw with disadvantage i wonder why Death saving throw with disadvantage, please. Is it because I'm suffocating? No. Is you, it because I'm underwater? No, but death saving throw with disadvantage. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it either. Oh, at all. Can I roll like a death? No, it's not going to roll like a death save. Okay, I can't click anything. Just a straight d20. Two of them. <laughs> I rolled an 18 and a natural 20, so 18, so that's Wow. All right. Yeah, so 18, one success. That would have been lovely to roll the yeah. natural 20. And no one knows you're making it with disadvantage. That's true. And you don't know why you're making it with disadvantage. Anyways. And I'm drowning. Oh, sorry, Gravel. Any bonus actions? You're not drowning. It's not. It's too... Fe Actually, uh, nah. No, because I held my door. turn. Right. Talendra. So... I mean, if he's dying, he's probably not breathing a lot. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. To be fair, if you're drowning and you're making death saves, you don't stabilize when you get to three because you're still drowning. You have to keep making death saves until you can breathe. Fun fact about drowning rules. Um... So, um, who's still up in terms of the, uh, uh the bad one, guys? The thing that was behind Lindak that hasn't been hit yet. Oh, the one that was, uh, was the big guy me. after Enoch? The, the tentacle guy's uh, dead. There's one thing left, and it's just one of these basic guys that hasn't been hit oh. yet. Okay, so then I'm going to go to Enoch. Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, wait, how far from him? What, you can get to him. What are you doing? I want, I, um, I want to do a Cure Wounds on Okay. Let me see something. All right. Curious. But I, can I get there even? Because yeah, I have like. Oh wait, nope, you can't. Because you used your movement to get away, so you, it's fifteen feet, and that's thirty feet of movement because it's difficult terrain. So no, you can't. Yeah. So so I go as far towards him as I can. Okay. Um, I don't know that I I can't do mantle right with him unconscious. It won't work. Cre unconscious creatures can't oh, get ten you don't HP. Have... You don't have healing word. I thought you I don't did. Have <laughs> unconscious no. creatures her healing oh, word. God. Unconscious creatures can't get temp HP. Yeah. Um. Gravel, do you have mantle still? 
No, it got taken away with the uh, yeah. with that big clan. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So I will. So I'll move as. How how far am, was I from Enoch? Uh, thirty feet. Because you used your movement to half movement to get away. You you're too, you can't. You're too. You're, yeah. So. Okay. You're far away, basically. I was thirty feet, and it's half seat. Okay, I'm going to. I'll I'll do okay for my action. I guess I will do a tash on the one that's left. Okay. Uh, nine. So it's incapacitated and prone. Okay, and then as a bonus, I'll do a mantle on whoever's still up. So gravel yourself at Lindak. Okay. And that's that's my turn. And they can use their movement, which Lindak is going to do to pivot and get to the one that's incapacitated. Oh yeah, then I'm going to spend the rest of my movement to get to Enoch. Okay. Yeah, I'm also spending my movement to get there too. To Enoch. Yeah. Okay. That'll bring us to the one that's down and incapacitated. End of its turn. Wisdom save. Thirteen. So he's still downed. Bring us to Lindak, who's going to make two attacks down at it. With advantage, both of them. Uh, fourteen plus seven hits and eighteen plus seven hits to so both hit, uh, which means it'll make two wisdom saves to see if it's still incapacitated, but still. So, oh, seven plus four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and another seven. So two elevens for damage. That's real good. Uh, and then two wisdom saves for it. Four and a six, so it's still incapacitated, bringing us to gravel. Uh, I'm going to flip Enoch over and put a potion down his throat. Okay, that's your action. Roll for it. Um, it's a, what kind yeah. of potion? The only one I have on me. It's a potion of greater healing. Okay. Uh, so, 44 plus 4. I hope I roll well on this. Uh, average, uh, five plus five, ten plus four, fourteen hit points. Okay. <gasps> well, hopefully he doesn't do that. <laughs> I'm drinking the the nasty water and the potion. Ew. Anything else, girl? Flip him. I, I flip him over so that he's not. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, let me double check if this is some of my things um, here. Uh... Nope, that's it. I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Enoch, you're prone. The other thing's within five feet, cackling on the ground. Yeah, stand up. He's going to pat gravel on the head. But hey. in that motion, as he's patting, it's this uh, morning star gets gripped and it's coming With <laughs> straight down. Let's see how this goes. Okay. You know I'm older than you, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, 25 to hit. Hits. Okay. W wow, this damage roll was 2-1. So 6. Mm -hmm. um, make another one. Add it. Well, it got a 3 for its wisdom save, so it's still incapacitated. Cool. Okay, yeah, that's a 26 to hit. Hits. And that's a 13. It's 13 damage. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and throw that last superior eye. Uh, 15 superior. for its wisdom save, so still incapacitated. I'll do my last one. That's a plus 8 damage. Is, so 13 plus 8 was a total of 20. Okay. 21 damage how do you total. Do, how do you want to do this? Oh, you know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm smashing that skull in. All right, as you smash the skull <laughs> in, and it's the inside spray everywhere like a nasty ass pinata. That's where we're getting the session for the week. Because you find out it was an innocent person all along. Exactly. <laughs> no. It is technically. Technically, it probably is. It's a whaler that got turned into a fucking idea. It's supposed to be a surprise party, guys. That... Yeah, they were just. <laughs> Bloody man. <laughs> that is where we're gonna end the session for the week. That went rougher than I anticipated. Uh... <laughs> yeah, the two tank slash damage dealers. <laughs> One of them was just like. Huh? Oh, <laughs> and the other one was just like, 
My mace is slippery. <laughs> I just, yeah, that never ne bumbled that, that, that necrotic much. ink one is gross. That's but rough. um Good night, everybody. We'll see you here in a few minutes for Beneath the or not Beneath the Tide. Um, a little one shot we're doing. Fifteen years after Beneath the Tide, delving into a tomb. One character's twentieth level. The rest are level five. Yeah. <laughs> Come watch. It's gonna be what? real bad, probably. Yeah. Yeah. See you all in a few minutes. <laughs> Ten, most likely. Bye bye. Bye.